Good morning, YouTube. All right, we're still in quarantine, but that's okay. We can still cook. All right, this time we're gonna do something a little bit different, but it is still everything we love. It is inexpensive, it's easy, and it's so delicious. So until you can get back to your favorite Japanese or Chinese restaurant, so China chef, we miss you. Uh, until you can get back there, you can do our Japanese-inspired spinach salad. Easy, delicious, fresh, beautiful, all of the above. All right, let's cook, y'all. We got a family to feed. We are making one of my favorite things. I'm going to show you my setup, even though there's only going to be like, oh, I did this wrong. Hang on a second. Um, hmm. Let me <laughs> reconfigure. Let's see. Is that going to work? There we go. All right. So we're making an Asian inspired spinach salad and, and the prep work only takes a few seconds. But once you kind of have your prep work done, you have to move pretty fast. So I have a giant pot of boiling water that I put, to, I'd say there's three quarts of boiling water and it's at a heavy rapid boil. And then here I have a colander set up over ice, okay? That'll make sense here in a minute. I also have a 10 ounce package of spinach. <clears throat> So to my water, I added a good palm full of salt because we want that nice and salty. And then we're gonna do this. <clears throat> so we've got, <laughs> hey, I've got, uh, Ren helped me get the kitchen organized and we organized so well I can't find my tripod. All right, so we've got about three teaspoons of ground ginger. Fresh is beautiful if you have it, I don't. We have about two tablespoons of rice vinegar. And about two tablespoons of a, um, this is, okay, use plain soy sauce, absolutely fine. This is a dark mushroom soy, which I just love the depth of flavor. I think it is really interesting. It's a bit thicker. <clears throat> and then a couple tablespoons, oh, that's not going to work. Hmm. Anyway, a couple tablespoons of sesame oil. You're going to have to trust me on that one. That's what we're going to end up using. I'm going to mess with that off camera because that's going to make me say bad words. All right, so we're just going to whisk this dressing together. Okay, now set that aside. And we're going to work in a couple of batches. <clears throat> and get some tongs or a slotted spoon or both. You're going to blanch your spinach. That just means you're going to drop it in salted boiling water for about 30 seconds. And we're going to work in a couple batches. And really, you're just going to get your spinach to wilt a little bit. That's it. Okay, so about 30 seconds. I don't have a second hand. I have... Uh, I have Minnie Mouse, who, oh, she's not talking. There. It's 1.05. Okay. Good afternoon. Thanks, Minnie. All right. Um, <laughs> we're going to make an educated guess. We want it nice and wilted. We don't want to just cook it to death. You want it blanched to take a little bit of the bitterness out. But you really want to leave like this, okay? the ceiling. All right, so he's coming out. We're pulling out our 30-second spinach right into our colander to our ice bath, and then we're going to repeat. We're just going to repeat this process until we've done the whole package. All right, so I know there's not a whole lot to look at. Um, looks like that. All right, we're going to do that a couple more times. I'll be back. And then I drained off the ice and I've just been squeezing it, okay? So if you get um, frozen spinach, a lot of times you'll have recipes that tell you to use frozen spinach and to squeeze it. Well, even after you've drained it, there's a lot of water that comes out of there, okay? And no, it won't hurt you, <laughs> but it, it's better. It's just nicer. It's, it, it keeps your salad from getting soggy, okay? And... Getting rid of all that water means you've got more room for flavor. Now here, this is the funny part. 
in that big giant package we started out with. This, that's our spinach. That's what we ended up with. I could squeeze that a little more and I would say we have just about a cup. Isn't that funny? That it just shrinks to nothing. All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. Get my hands clean. Okay. So here is our dressing, and here is a bowl, and here is our final ingredient. This is just toasted sesame seeds, okay? I adore sesame. It is one of my favorite flavors. I cannot get enough. Boone and I <laughs> will go through sesame oil like crazy. Okay, so. All right, so we're gonna put our spinach right into our work bowl, just like that. I'm actually gonna spread it out a little bit. You've got lots of nooks and crannies to work with. So we're just separating it a little bit because we're gonna dress it. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Jojo. We're gonna dress it and we wanna open it up. Okay, now here's how we dress it. So our dressing, and yes, I did go ahead and put the rest of the sesame oil. And you don't want to drench it, you're drizzling. So you're getting kind of light in here. Okay. And now that we have dressing on there, we're going to toss it just like this. We just had a few ingredients. Mm, the ginger and the sesame. All right. I tell you, Lance and I both. There's lunch. <laughs> Love it. So our sesame seeds over the top and if you decide you want to just a touch more and that y'all is perfect so if you're wondering something different or if you can't get to your favorite Chinese restaurant and you're missing Asian flavors that's a great way to do it mmm Oh yeah, that's a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.